found her face down in a, in a puddle and, and she was gone. So her um, funeral's on Friday if you boys want to come. Anyway, welcome to episode number 15 of the Marty Michael Fully Actual Podcast. Episode 15? 15. Holy shit. You know what we fucking realised as we were fucking setting up? That we don't have a um, uh, bloody chair for you. That's all right. I don't we gave you th- this, this at episode is- five. So next week, that's our promise no. to you, Matt Brown. Unless, Unless you, you want something chair. today. I don't want anything today because I can see in your eyes that it's just... <laughs> What about a one-time show? No, <laughs> no, wh- no. What about yeah, a one-time chair until you get your Hang new on. chair? Here's the thing about the chairs, okay? I'm starting to get. I'm, now you're going to laugh either way, but this is real, all right? No, no, this is real. <laughs> this pain? is real. I'm getting. I'm going through a lot of back pain. I'm getting old, and <sighs> the chair like you got to sit in it for two hours. Like I guess you sort of like half stand. I've been standing lately because I'm in so much pain. The balls aren't holding up very well. <laughs> Like I've got a, fu- like I've got a massive oh. dick and balls, and they just that thing just <laughs> sucks straight up onto them, it squishes it. Yeah, so it's it's been a struggle. Oh, I will oh it's just a shit chair. Like we'll 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 how about this? We'll endeavour to make sure the next chair is semi comfortable. Can I present just the, what we were going to do for the one time show? Yeah, go on. Let's just show him to see what he, he. I know what he's going to say. He just he'll just say, "Oh, I wouldn't have sat on it. I wouldn't have sat on it." No. You have to try. It. Where's he going? He's getting the chair. He's going to the garage, isn't he? <laughs> He's going to the garage. <laughs> it's nothing. It's not a like a pre-planned chair. This one. Yeah, Michael I bet just, it's not. Michael just thought of this on the fly. Yeah, anything that Michael thinks of on the fly is not a good idea. <laughs> that is so true. He needs to see if he's if he comes up with good ideas, it's brainstormed over a few hours. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, just it's not even big enough to go behind his base holding. No, it, with it one folds hand. out. It folds it's out. It's holding with one hand. <laughs> it folds out. <laughs> it folds out. Folds out. Folds out. So close your eyes. <laughs> just show me it, please. No, you please. I'm not sitting on it then. Stupid fucking long chair. <laughs> Fuck, I hate my chair, cunt. <laughs> oh my god. What do you mean you hate your chair? You have a comfort. It's not couch. good enough. <laughs> you want better. Okay, now close your eyes. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Michael has handed Matt a brick. Dude, can you just try it out? It's got some bush in it as well. Yeah, a brick with some bush on it. <laughs> you could sit like that or for a bit of height. You could sit like like standing up on its end. Yeah, like that. Which would you rather? I feel you're not taking this seriously. <laughs> yeah, this is only the one time show, so it's not forever. <laughs> anyway, look, we'll um we'll get back to this chair. Do you wanna yeah. right. anyway, this is his chair for this episode. The brick will try and get him to sit on it, but no guarantees. He's very, very wholesome. Would you consider now, since that happened, you have to sit on this for the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> I'll sit on it for ten seconds. Okay. Oh yes. Ten seconds nice. is better than nothing. Uh, which which way do you want it? So Matt's gonna sit on the brick now. I can go tall, so it's like you're higher. Relax and put full weight on. He's sitting on the brick now. Is that, Is that her? But if you had padding there. In a backrest? We'll get another brick. We'll just put the brick up against the wall. <laughs> you can lean back against the wall. You're not being funny. <laughs> You've been really rude. Like, like I try oh, so hard with every seat that you give me and you just, my back is just a joke to you. Can you just have the brick next to you? It's in shot. <laughs> no, I, I want it on the couch. No. <laughs> anyway, guys, episode number 35. We've got a jam-packed episode. We've got um, a first ever uh, female comedian coming on. Katrina uh, Goldman. Yeah, so she's going to be on for a cheeky little interview and we're going to do some uh, Greek games with her. And uh, what else? Just fucking Matt's Tinder Adventures and the prank call prank and everything calls. else. Can't... And stuff. Just be careful of the call. We yeah, don't want a disaster yeah, to happen. Yeah. So uh, everyone fucking sit, sit down and get your shit ready, man. What's What's been going on? What hell's the weekend? Was my birthday? What did you do on the weekend? I yeah. went to Ararat. Ararat. Not Ballarat, Ararat. It's near, it's near Ballarat. Is it really? Yeah. 
It's like an hour out. Is he lying, Matt Brown? What are you doing with that fucking? Sorry, it's part of my weekend. Time. So oh, he's got show and tell. What have you found? <laughs> That's got show and no, tell. No, what did you went to Ararat? Yeah, yeah. Family stuff with the <laughs> yeah. girlfriend side. Yeah. How was it? Fiance, and it was beautiful. It's a nice place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We went on an amazing hike. Oh yeah, How, where was that? What was the hike called? It's called Hull Creek. Fuck, it's gone out of my brain. Hall's Gap. Hall's Gap. Yeah, it's like one. a beautiful little mountain range. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Aliens um, were there. I had reckon. Yeah, that'd be a good spot to go alien hunting. Mm. Oh, I've got. I had such a good weekend. What'd you do, uh, Marty? Next. Um, yeah, I had my birthday on Friday night, and then me and Mon just went out and drank stupidly, and now I'm just fucked again. Come boring. Yep. All right, this is what I did. I worked on Saturday. Uh, so I had an easy Friday night, you know, stayed in and stuff. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> just, I had an easy Friday night. And then... Um, What's then an I, easy Friday night? Just Chill, stayed in. Just stayed in, got some takeout. Yeah, got some takeout, got some had ice a, cream. Had swelled watched, a glass of wine. I watched some Sopranos. It was good. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so then I worked on Saturday and did some work and I finished it around 12. And then I was like... Fuck it. The- I'm going to have a loose weekend. <laughs> and uh, anyway... Um, uh, there's two parts to this. Oh my so, god! Um, yeah, I went to. Uh, l- let's jump to the night time. We'll come back to the daytime. Night time. Um, I went and saw um, a movie. And um, shut up. Which movie was? You can't went, say this. I went and saw Guardians of the Galaxy three. Marvel. Oh my god! It was very it was cool. It was good fun. By yourself? Uh, no, I went with a friend. And um, yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> what a girlfriend? Uh, your day. No, no, your day better boys. saved it. What happened during the day after work? Was there anything that was? You don't want to hear there? about Guardians of the Galaxy? No way. Yeah, no, let's 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 oh. move on from that conversation. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um well Isn't it the second? The third. Did you go with oh. Nick? Hey? Nick? No, no, just one of the movie boys. Anyway. What's the movie boys? I've got a little movie group. <laughs> no bullshit, you've got a movie group. Hey, I've told you this like fourteen <laughs> you've times. You've got a group with movie people. Well, they're like mates that were mates of mine for years and then but now like they've got like families and they you know they're married and they've got jobs and stuff. Oh, so, so you like, have a chat like, about the movie after And so like the only time we really get to catch up because we're not really part of the same friend groups, like I'm in one, one's in another, one's in another. And so the only time we really bond now is like we all go see a movie. Yeah, but do you talk about the movies in the chat? Sometimes, dude, <laughs> dude, 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 please, no, no, please, no, it's not, it's not please, let me read some of it's the. It's not good the, enough. The, some, I think there's it nothing be, good enough. It's just us talking shit about. All right, stuff. relay a com- relay the conversation about. I, the I have to go back and have just a look with him that. when you're after the movie. What'd you say to this person? Oh, I walked out the front and said, "Oh, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? It was all right." Did you have a, a scotch and cigar? No. No, but then you talk about like the directors and stuff. No, come on. The directors of the film. Yeah. Have you ever? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's fucked. <laughs> now we more talk about like the film itself sometimes. Have a okay. Little, have a little recap out front. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck me. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, watch Guardians of the Galaxy three. Overall, wasn't as good. I still think the first one's the best. Um, but there was a really cool hallway fight scene that was pretty top notch. So it was not bad. Don't say that. I got a popcorn and a choc top. Very good. What happened in the day? Anyway, in the day, they had the collector's market on down at uh, near Bean Lee. Oh, my right? God. And they sold basketball cards and Pokemon cards and other cool things. Oh, right. And Maitland ended up going. Out of Where'd you things. go on Sunday? Hey, You've got to on, save no, this no, weekend. This Saturday. This how Saturday. do you save the weekend? Anyway, what did you do on Sunday to have fun? how did you fun? find out about this market? Oh, if you're just in some of the chats. And so you've got another like chat now? No, no, no. You're if part you're of just, another chat. You follow pages and you hear things and, you know, you just um, you find things out. Anyway, I was um, I was at the collector's market <laughs> and um, and uh, there was a sticker guy there and he did like he does like portraits and stuff like that, but he does heaps of stickers. And I bought like a cute little sticker for my computer. Oh my so god! So there, it's, it's a little, Star Wars, it's a little like, Star Wars. What are they called? Computer. It's a stormtrooper. Storm but he's like a blizzard. So his name is Mechanical Pen underscore. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and so I bought no. a little. Sticker. Were you dressed like this? No. <laughs> oh damn it, man! I was actually in my PJs, sort of. Oh, that's bullshit. Nah, I call bullshit on that. <laughs> oh no, it was because I went to work and I forgot I bought a ticket to the collector event, and then um and then yeah, so I was in like my I was in like a jumper and my sweatpants and I just wore um I just wore uh, uh cons that I had in the car and I was like fuck, I was like do I go home and change do I not? 
but then yeah, I just went down there and Peter and just walked around. I was by myself. So Sunday, yeah. and uh, yeah, and I bought the sticker. Do you like the sticker? How do you save yeah. it? How, How much Sunday? was that fucking sticker, man? I was like five bucks. The dude was a legend. He like pulled me. I didn't even wasn't even gonna go. This near is him. bullshit. If this is and real, we're not friends anymore. Yeah, I, I think bought, we should I bought cut a sticker. This. <laughs> Is this real life? <laughs> I think we should cut all this. No, and then I went you. for a walk on Sunday. <laughs> anyway, it was a good weekend. I don't know about you guys. It was a good weekend. Man, I bought some was, basketball oh, cards. Yeah, okay, man. Oh. You've, you've, that's, that's, uh, that's enough. So. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> you have to sit on the brick for that, dude. <laughs> that's the rule. <laughs> <laughs> At least put it behind your back. Uh, yeah, sit on it on the chair. <laughs> yeah, no, not doing that. Please? No. I'll do it. For a bit, then you do it for a bit. Oh, no. What? A chunk in my mouth. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, my God. They're like yours. <laughs> Oh Holy no! Fuck. You should have added to the golly bottle. Yeah, too, oh, too far away. You, you should have brought it. You in wouldn't here, believe so. this. When Michael started another golly pick bottle, that up? no, just leave just it. Leave it. He's he's come in today and he's not feeling hundred percent. He's got some shit in his throat and he started spinning Michael up gollies. Yeah, yeah, well, you too. That was a and and he's we, so we have another golly bottle underway. We don't know how full it'll get, but it could be it could be interesting. Something to 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 match the mince bottle. Ha ha. ha ha! Anyway, sponsors yeah. can't. <sighs> You're a fucking junkie. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> You're a fucking piece of shit, man. <sighs> and I know that's hard to hear, everybody, but you have to go to athleticgreens.com slash fully actual and get yourself a fucking athletic greens subscription. There are 75 nutrients in there that will break your back. They're so healthy for you. You will have a broken back and be <laughs> lying on the ground screaming. That is how fucking healthy this shit is for you. It will make you so fucking swollen and big. You'll fuck cunts up, cunt. You'll hurt your back. Your back will be hurt. You'll really damage your spinal fluid. Athletic greens, okay? It's so healthy. And you're not healthy, so put some healthy shit in and break your back with me, cunt. <laughs> Athletic greens are slash fully actual. Really breaks your back. <sighs> and you get a free travel pack too, by the way. Really? Yeah, yeah. If you use our code, yeah. What's Did the code you have again? some today? Fully actual. No, yeah. not today. I will though. Man, it helped. Anyway, uh, Manscaped. Uh, fuck you. Um, you have... Greek. Uh-oh, Greek. Manscaped. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was just having a go with the Greek people. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, maybe bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe bleep that, he says. <laughs> This is meant to be a sponsorship. <laughs> oh, yeah. A sponsor shit. Go to manscaped.com slash fully actual 20 for 20% off. They got all sorts of shit for your nutsack, your foreskin. Oh, oh fuck. What is that, deodorant? That smells that's really good. That's the ball good. toner. Ball toner? Wait, your balls would smell like that? Mm. Man, that's crazy. It's fresh. They got heaps of shit. They got the lawnmower you can shave in the shower. It's waterproof and you don't nick your nutsack as much. You still do sometimes though, so be careful to flatten your skin out as much as you can and hold it taut and tight so the testicles are really smooth the skin out at the top and then drag your fist down further and then you can shave it and be pretty confident it won't nick your sack. It, it works. very. It, like I've, I haven't cut myself since. It's there you good. go. It's good. See, Michael's even holding a sign. I've shaved. I've shaved with like a, like a, like a clippers before, and there's like, there's always a cut. Yeah. So Manscaped, it's much better. Much better. All right, you have the Matt Brown re- approval. So go fully actual twenty twenty percent off and fucking get They've you. Even got cologne. Get your nuts sorted, cunt. Thank you. <laughs> Michael's trying to stop you. No, I like it. Oh, it's very good. <laughs> We're good salesmen. Yeah. We're fucking good salesmen. I'll give us ha, that. Ha. <laughs> um, 
He's like, oh, 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 man, breathe now, cunt. Jeez, that went really. It really took up the, the airspace. Oh my didn't god, it? I can't fucking breathe anymore. Um, and of course, our subscription Sorry. website. The University of Markle, where our new website is out, and you can even search for videos, comment on them, and shit. It's fucking hectic as shit, everybody. And 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 we put videos out every week. That's crazy. This is what it was like to fight in the trenches in World War One. <laughs> Matt, they were not promoting things during then. Sorry, we post a weekly video, and it's just so crazy. What's the one we just posted this weekend? We haven't even decided, have we? Was it the shit cannon? Oh, yeah, yeah. The worms in real life. Oh, wait. Where the loser, out of us two, we build a fort each, shoot each other with potato guns. That actually sounds like a good video. And then the loser gets shot with a potato gun full of human shit. And let me tell you, the results are shocking. 21-day free trial, link in the description. <laughs> that could be a good... Um... A good arm. You're not even making sense anymore. <laughs> Next segment, everybody. We're not going to have a German or gibberish because um, we've already... Um, we got like... Um, we've got a guest and on. we played and some like, games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we'll be right back after this bong break with Bianca. <laughs> bong, 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 bong break. <laughs> oh my god I wish you went for another 10 minutes I tried to go for longer oh time. imagine that for half an hour <laughs> Connor can you just cut that and make it half an hour and then just put oh. it in <laughs> And we're back, and here we have one of our f- one of our first ever female guests. She's a comedian straight out of Brisbane. Her name is Bianca, and her stage name is Katrina. And yes. What what other aliases do you go by? Um, Hilda Kamiltovich. Oh. <laughs> a personal trainer with a massive camel toe. Oh. Russian. No, but <laughs> best known as Katrina, the real wog wife of Brisbane, aka Belimba, because that's where she lives. Oh. Mm. And what's your Instagram? What is it? Um, the real wog wife. The real wog wife, if you want to check her out, guys. Yeah. So it does um, comedy, <laughs> now professional comedian, would you say? Comedian or actress? Oh, or how I wouldn't would you, go that far. How, how would you describe your um, profession? Uh, I would, I, oh fuck, I hate this question. (laughs) (laughs) I definitely wouldn't say I'm a professional comedian. Okay. Um, I started in (laughs) theatre and grew up as a theatre kid and then tried to move into film and TV. So, you know, those people like to call themselves actors. And now I'm just making a stupid show, which... So you're a performer. Yeah, I'd and it's say a, a funny an show. artist, a creative yeah. artist, whatever. Yeah, yeah. that'll do. And, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, well, me and good. Marty, we used to be tennis coaches and uh-huh. went to Uber driving. Now Beautiful. We're doing silly videos. Yeah. So what, do you, professional <laughs> no, idiots? Or? No. Yeah, yeah, I guess <laughs> yes. just profession. Literally, just, we just turned being fucking idiots into a job. Love that. And what are you stop doing? Segways, <laughs> stop segueing into what I do. Yeah, what about you? <laughs> Let's With explain what... I, yeah, so before we started rolling, <laughs> Bianca thought that Matt's hair was real. It's <laughs> he's wearing the the only like real like good quality that, wig. We that, do you reckon I could <laughs> walk? Look at how fucked he looks. <laughs> <laughs> she thought that that was real. That's she thought that that's how you style your hair. <laughs> <laughs> but that means like I work in an office. I was like, wondering, do you reckon I could wear this Wait, and pull it office? off? Yeah. Oh. Now I work for a company called Wholesome, and they supply concrete to the building industry. There's no way that you could pull that off. Wow. <laughs> you would, they would send you straight home if you rocked up. Now, you when, reckon, why don't you I'd... explain to me, Uncle, what you do? Well, <laughs> why? <laughs> well, I think it's important that we all get to know each other. So all I do is supervise a team of um, customer service and salespeople. That's wow. the concrete. Okay. <laughs> it's boring. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, fuck. Oh. It's very good. Anyway. Oh. Um, anyway, I've dropped a day okay? off. So I can, yeah, no, <laughs> not really. Okay. I need Should to we see. hold hands? <laughs> <laughs> now uh, the, we um, we have uh, a mutual person in common, don't we? My, Mr. Mike Goldman. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shit. Put that on silent. 
<clears throat> um, Mr. Mike Goldman. Now, for those of you who yeah, don't Mike. know, Mike Goldman, he used to be the host of um, Big Brother, and he just he's he's if you if he spoke, you'd know his voice. He does a lot of voiceover work now. Amart All Sports, exactly right. Sports. That's yes, exactly Amart right. And remember that Meerkat show, Meerkat. Yes, Manor. Meerkat Manor. Yeah, he was the the voice yes, for that. That's right. Fucking love that show. Yeah. Do you know he used to come in? Me and James, uh, we used to work at a video shop at Cannon Hill. Yeah, and and Mike used to come in and rent. DVDs when I was younger. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I used to be a little bit starstruck. What, what kind of DVDs would he rent? Just oh, movies. Yeah, that is, oh, nothing okay. bad. Oh, no. good. I've got no naughty <laughs> stories, but yeah, he just used to be a customer. Yeah, and, so yeah. so we, Michael and I had, do you remember Bridge 31? That, yeah. Like, that fucking that shitty- That still exists, doesn't it? Well, not anymore. I think no, it's just online now. Because okay. we, we had the last ever show on Briz 31 mm. and it was like a little like interview talk show thing and our first ever guest was Mike Goldman and that is how we met That's Mike. That's right. And then he's yeah. like pestering you since like, hey, can you um hook my wife up? <laughs> well, you should hook, can we Can we do something? Yeah, so we've been ta- talking best. to Mike to get um, him on and he suggested we get Bianca on and, and here you are. Here I am. Yeah, so. One of the only women you've ever had on. Yeah. I yeah think, well, no, you're the second. You're the second. We had, um, uh, Isla. Matt's deep Oh, yeah, yeah, Matt's. And Jess as well, Maitland's. Oh, Maitland's yeah. Jess. So, so we've had awesome. lots of women. Lucky yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Well, you're going to get two women today, right? Me and Katrina. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah so true. Bianca's going to turn into Three. her uh, state, one of her stage characters, Katrina, a little later on. Mm. So so what's going on at the moment? You are um, performing at the, the what, what, what are you, are you touring? Are you just doing one show? What's going on with your, with your show at the moment? <laughs> yeah, so I just wrapped up uh, two shows at the Brisbane Comedy Festival. Oh, yeah? Which was cool. Is that um, the only two shows you got? Just, <laughs> they only gave me two shows. Yeah, well, that's no, good. No, that's, that's than, good, actually. It's yeah. exhausting, like, to be on stage for 60 minutes, I'm singing and dancing and sweating profusely so two shows is great um and then what's next i'll probably do a couple of shows down at hotter on the gold coast i don't have dates locked in or anything like that but i want to tour it around next year so now i just need to spend some time find a producer who will help me that's a bit of a producer oh matt maybe i can save you from your concrete <laughs> job <laughs> you want to come on the road babes yeah. Yeah. um yeah so i'd like to do the uh Australian comedy tour next year. Yeah, Adelaide, Perth, Sydney, Melbourne. So has it always been like? Because you you mentioned you did your acting and stuff. Yeah. Did you did you always want to do like comedy acting, or was it just like acting and then you just sort of started doing the comedy stuff? You know what happens? Like this would have happened for you guys too. Like you fall into something, right? So yeah. I created Katrina during COVID. I've always been doing stupid characters, and then she started getting a lot of views, and I was like, oh okay, we'll keep on going. And then I always wanted to do a one woman show. That's been something that I um, wanted to give a go. And yeah, created the show. And then here we are. But I still do other acting stuff on the yeah, side. Yeah, you're in a, you're like, a, you got a movie coming up. Yeah, right? I've got a movie. We we'll finished what shooting. Movie? It's called Narcissus. Actually, that's the working title. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to stay as that, but it's a black and white uh, feature film that we're entering into like Cannes Film Festival oh, for wow. next year. Oh, cool. Quite oh, wow. art house. Completely opposite character who, to who Katrina is. This is really like serious acting role. There's tears and. I mean, there's tears in Katrina's show as well. So, yeah, um, it's always different. I love it. That's what I love about this industry. Yeah, yeah, it's a hustle and a grind, but yeah, every day is different. Yeah. Was it hard to be serious and not be funny on a, in a film, like when you're acting? Ah, uh, yeah. Like change um, you to a real serious character rather than a comedic yeah. What's your one? favorite role to play? Oh, I love them all. Yeah. Okay. I love comedy. I love writing comedy. Um, I love leaving a set having a great day, right? As opposed to leaving set after having to, you know, yeah, pour do you, your do you, heart could, out. Do you literally get like sad? So when you have, when you cry, do you get, are you then sad for a while after? Because you can't just snap out of it, eh? I feel like I can snap out of it. But the thing that I have discovered and why I believe that actors get paid so much money is because we trick our bodies into feeling shit that is really yuck. Mm. So like you go in to do a scene or the, I don't know, um, an example like you, let's just say your partner's cheated on you. So then you trick your body into feeling all of this stuff and all of those chemicals that actually, you know, happen in your body happen when you're acting in the scene and then to try and let that go, that takes time. Yeah. Mm. So it's pretty – and same with like performing on stage, all of that adrenaline that pumps through your body and, yeah, you can't go home and just – 
crash in bed. You need to wind down. So it's exhausting. Yeah, wow. Yeah. 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 Never thought, think about that, eh? When you watch a movie, that because you have to do <laughs> scene after scene after scene. Yeah, multiple and times, different angles and shit. So you're sitting there sobbing and crying, and then you have to like do it again do and it again. again and again, yeah. right? Yeah. So these rough. two go through a lot of pain in a lot of their videos. Do you think I've, they I've take seen. that home with them, and they need to take time to calm down? After I don't know. I'd like to pain? know. Do you feel like you have to, you know? You need to give each other a hug afterwards. Like, hey, mate, it's okay. It's more just relief. It's like, fuck, yes, I'm not, like, permanently damaged. <laughs> yeah. I'm, what about changed. those tattoos, though? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're there for good, but at least, like, yeah. that doesn't hurt now. Okay, um, that's good. Did at the time. But yeah, though. sometimes it's just sort of like, <laughs> fuck, okay, I got away with that. It's a mental battle more, you know, when you know you're, you're about to do something real painful. And when you get away with it, it's sort of like, I looked this up too, you can get high off it. It's like releases endorphins. Mm. So pain yeah. can be like a high. Okay. So like sometimes you do a stunt, you're like, holy shit. I guess it's the adrenaline. But Would you yeah. get that from being on stage? Oh, yeah. It's uh, like I always say high? it's better than any drug, right? Like you mm. just that feeling mm. is so good. Yeah, well, yeah. we did it. We're not really like live performers, but we did our podcast finale yeah. um, live last year, at the end of last year. And that was awesome. pretty, mm. pretty fucking sick apart from Matt. He was super nervous and just really scared the whole time. Do you get the was pre-show I? shit? <laughs> No. no, like you have I to do a pre-show poo. No, 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 no I don't no, think no. that we did. We just <laughs> had a few cheeky beers. Yeah, and then we had that, a fair few to be honest. And then that's kind of just calmed us down the that's whole time. That's good. Yeah. Did you ever get? I've hammered. tried drinking before <laughs> a show, good. and it's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I drink in the show. I guess if you got to remember <laughs> your lines, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh no. I guess I had to come out backwards. <laughs> I had to run backwards onto stage when they said my name. So that, that was the only nervous bit for me. Wait, that what? I had to bound backwards onto the stage and it just, so I came out backwards. It's just an ongoing thing. Yeah, that, run okay. backwards. that I run backwards. And yeah, that was the only nervous bit because I I'm thought gonna I was going to go gonna back fall. and watch that. Yeah. <laughs> it's very you entertaining. Did it all right too. Mm. Very good at running backwards, man. It's one of his, it's one of his finest <laughs> skills. Bounds backwards. Okay. I'll note that down. Yeah. yeah. So what's it like? Um, are you, you, so you and Mike have been together for a while now, right? Seven and a bit years. Holy fuck. Oh, wow. Seven so years now. Like yeah. Family. We've like, yeah. Are you guys <laughs> yep. married or are you guys yeah, just- four years. Oh, wow. holy shit. You guys we got married, married in um 2019 because we were going to Greece to get married in 2020. Yeah. And then COVID Probably. fucked us all over. Um, and also Mikey's dad was really unwell. So mm. he wanted to do like a little ceremony where we signed our papers before his dad passed away. So it was actually really <laughs> special that we got to, you know, do, we did a little- um. Uh, like ceremony in our kitchen at home with his dad and stuff, and um, yeah, we did that before he passed away, so that was nice. Yeah, wow. Yeah, seven years with Mike Goldman. <laughs> What's that like with married to Mike? Yeah, I is mean, he good in bed? <laughs> <laughs> I just um, <laughs> that's all we want to know. Just picturing him hammering away. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, he's he's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> For an old fucker. Oh. Yeah, no, he's great. He's really good in bed. Um, Does he, he speak in the vo in his voice like he's? Yeah, do you ever get him to? to no, he he, he makes me do accents. Though. <laughs> <laughs> like he's like, can you get do do a, do an accent for me, babe? <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> that's gonna <laughs> get you there. <laughs> oh no, he's a beautiful man. He is honestly like my number one fan. Last night after the show. He said, he's like, you made me cry, babe. I was like, really? He's like, I'm just, I've never been so proud of someone. Aww. And I Aww. really feel that from him. And he was like, oh, I was thinking of my dad whilst you were up there and how proud he would be as well. But he is just so supportive of everything I do. And I grew up with amazing, like with parents that were so supportive of what I do as well, but didn't fully understand this industry. And because he's lived this mm. industry, grew up obviously with his dad, <clears throat> being in the entertainment industry, he just has my back 110%. And, you know, I owe a lot of what I've done to him as well. I don't yeah. think, um, you know, I, I won the green card lottery. So I lived in the States for a while and he was like, go, you have to do it. You've got to get that out of your system. So you come back and live with me. No, but um, yeah, he's just, yeah, he's so supportive. So having that is amazing. Yeah. That's really nice having supportive partners, Matt, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, Matt's been single for 
Oh, tell us, Matt. A long, long time. Why are you talking? I've been single for a long time. Yeah, but before that relationship, it was quite a while as well. You can look at me. It was only a year. You can can look at me, Matt. (laughs) There's a girl, Matt. There's a girl next to you. It was no. I've just recently separated at the start of this year, Um, Mm. and then before that, there was like a year break. That's really abusive. You need to find a good Greek girl. Uh, what what yeah. advice would you give to to, to Matt? Because he's he's kind of you're cleaning up a bit on Tinder now since we've taken over. I would. I, do you have I any have photos have... with this wig on? <laughs> no. Oh no. I mean, so I don't want to go. Oh, that I thought you had hair. So Bianca, recently no, we've we've re- I've literally set up a Tinder account for Matt, uh-huh. and we've taken over his Tinder account, and we're mm. sort of funneling all the girls that we get. To him, Snapchat, Snapchat Snapchat helping, at all. helping him out. Hey. They're not helping me at all. And um, we've gotten oh. everything you want, like, like sex. We've yeah. gotten, we've gotten him sex. S- well, he hasn't that done that one? yet. Is he, that number one on the, the list? No, no. I want to. No, no, I want to fall in love. Well, girls have wanted to go on yeah, dates. They wanted to have sex. They've wanted to like just meet up, just hang out. And he's denied every single one that we've channeled to him. Why? I'm just not interested in them. <laughs> He's very picky. What you, I'm okay. not very. I'm not overly picky. Just, just whatever you guys he knows do what doesn't he wants. help. He knows what he wants. I think I know what I want. So, what I would, would you? Do you have any advice for for the brown? Would you reckon any Greek chicks would be into him? I mean, it's a little bit hairy. Yeah. Is that yeah. good or bad? Is because uh, I gr- mean, Greek blokes I, are quite hairy, aren't they? Yeah, they're very hairy. Greek blokes. So I don't know. Manscaped. Um, Manscaped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that a brand of yours? Yeah, they yeah. sponsor the podcast. Okay, yeah. great. Manscaped. I've gotten Mike some of those. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, See, it works. <clears throat> yep. um, any advice? I, I don't know. Uh, I, I think definitely get some shots in the wig for sure. Shots in the wig. Oh, some photos in the yeah, wig. Some, yeah. yeah, some okay. photos in the wig. So I look fun. Uh, yeah, so you look fun. Yeah. Um, maybe this whole fit, actually. Or just the wig and the slippers. Okay. <laughs> then we'll blur, we'll blur, we'll blur we'll everything else. Go on. But I think you have to say yes, my friend. You can't keep uh, saying no. I agree. Here's my and you know and people get people get angry at me in the comments because I'm like I'm not appreciative of what the boys are doing. Mm. But um mm. yeah, I'm just uh, I don't know. I don't think they have an idea what I'm looking for. He, 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 and yeah. they just go for anything. <laughs> it's a numbers have game. You told them? It's a numbers <laughs> game. Have you told them what you're what you're looking for? Yeah, I've got a rough so. idea. Of what He's you got, want. They know. He knows. If it's breathing, <laughs> he want. <laughs> oh, I mean, man. Mike found me when he was forty-four. So you know, maybe you're you haven't just found your match yet because exactly. she's going to be twenty years younger than you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that so she's well. probably not even born you, yet. You probably. stress out. Then. <laughs> <laughs> or she was born recently. <laughs> oh God, it's so disgusting when you say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Your future wife's a baby right now. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's not oh. good. <laughs> Just well, you be. wait. <laughs> no, she's not a baby. She's like ten. <laughs> that's, yeah. Oh man, that's... imagine seeing a ten-year-old me. Oh, that's my wife one day. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, well, let's look, move on. Huh? Have uh, have you ever been arrested? No, never. I'm I'm a ver- I'm a good girl. What was the most trouble you were ever in with legally? You? No, this is fucked up. You know because honestly, the, my dad started um, his wedding speech with like, Bianca is a good girl. Oh, school captain in primary school, school captain in high school. Oh wow! Like wow. they would give, do signatures in the back of your diary, like l- good girl syndrome. Oh, wow. Normally, it goes from primary school. School captain to drug addict. Yeah, I don't know what happened. But there you stayed. With me. You went straight and stayed as the school captain for yeah, high school. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. See, I was primary Nerd. school. Were and, you? Yeah. Oh, and then high wow. school was just a write off. Okay. But yeah, like to go <laughs> but back you're to okay back now. So. Yeah. 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 I guess. Yeah. Back to back. Um, That's like I you must have been really goody goody. Yeah, like, but then I married Mike, so. That's right. <laughs> probably. Oh, where did you guys meet? In acting class. Oh, does Mike do acting classes too, does he? He does. Oh, wow. Yeah, he does. He's yeah. actually a really... He's booked yeah. more roles than me. Oh, really? Yes. He's really talented. He's a popular guy. He is. <coughs> so, yeah, I haven't been arrested. Have any of you been arrested? Yeah, we've been arrested yeah. a few times. Matt hasn't been arrested yet. Yeah, I got arrested got in high feeling... school, but not Did in you? my adult years. What? You got arrested in high school? Yeah. You've never told us this. Underage drinking and I was uh. trying to run and they got me. And then, wow. I, and then I told I, I think I swore at him 
And they're like, all right, we're going to take his. I take would his love to, to see the footage of that. But the best part was I didn't go to my parents, went to my mate's parents and they took the hit for me. Wow. Did you, good. And what, they arrested you? Yeah, well, well, my mate I was with was quite aggressive towards them and I was sort of in between all that. <laughs> hey, just, it's all right. You know, like brown I think I hair. threw, because I, I, it started off with getting the police attention. I threw a bottle at a police car. Wow, and that's it was very, nice. very bad. It was a bunch of police cars parked and I thought the police weren't looking. And to impress the people that was there, I threw it Show high it in the air. And, yeah, and then I regretted it instantly. Yeah. Hit a female cop. No, but then, and then like an hour, this is like an hour earlier. And then an hour later, they saw me and they knew it was me. Anyway, that's enough about me. Wow, that's, you're <laughs> such a bad boy. Yeah. Gold, Gold Coast. <laughs> Gold Coast bad Palm, boy. Palm Beach boy. <laughs> Palm Beach Gold Coast bad boy. <laughs> Oh man. oh man all right well um let's uh let's move this along so we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna play a couple of little cheeky little games i love games should we because it's going down the greek path should we switch from bianca to katrina yeah i was just about to say yeah, yeah so we can. we'll we'll have a cheeky little break katrina, bianca will go katrina will come back we've hid the plates so <laughs> <laughs> they did and a then, plate smashing competition at Punayiri on the weekend. Did you do that oh, at the yeah, wedding? That was on. Did you oh, smash any plates? No, it's like illegal in Australia. You have to pay all of this extra money. Oh really? But we did do plate smashing in on our honeymoon. I wonder who, how they how that started. How is that illegal? They're just yeah, they're like fucking yeah. plates. I know. I don't know because things fly up and get people in the oh. you, have get a, you have to get a permit for it yeah oh, oh, the shit. safety goggles oh. on everyone yeah, God. Okay. <laughs> so fucking how good would it be you're at the wedding and everyone gets safety goggles <laughs> <laughs> so good I love that <laughs> alright well we'll switch over to Katrina and then we'll get some games underway for competitions Bad. we'll be right back everybody Hippie, uh, hippie Potter. All right. Hippie Potter. Hippie, hippie Potter. Potter. And we're back and we're here with Katrina. Now. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. You're so beautiful, all of you. This is amazing. Even Thank Matt? You. Yeah, I'm I'm actually quite attracted to Matt. Don't tell my husband, oh, okay? Oh, okay. there you go, Matthew man. Brown. Hey, Matthew There's Brown. The girl next to you. <laughs> oh, she says you're hot. Hi, Matt. Hey. How are you, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Are you feeling a bit uncomfortable? No, I'm just nervous, I think. I love your shoes, babe. Thank you. Oh, my God, you've got nice knees. Ooh, baby Brown. <laughs> he does work on his knees at the gym. <laughs> no, yeah. so, do, so do I. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that a Greek thing to have nice knees? No. Okay. It's just a human thing. Sorry. All right, now, Katrina, we're going to uh, finish up with a couple of little games, all right? Babe, and yep. you're going to be the judge of okay. them. Okay. So first, um, it's a little a little favorite. We're going to each do a Greek accent. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. And you have to judge who has the better accent. Yeah, no problem. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, Matt, we're going to vote. To see who goes first. I'll just pick. All right. Who I want to see first. Okay. Okay, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all right, babe? Yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> Now don't don't fuck it up because I was attracted to you, but you know this could change everything. Do I have to say a certain line? No, you just have to have let's a Greek you, conversation. Yeah, have a Greek conversation with um, with Katrina. All right. All right. <laughs> Here, I'll, 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 I'll help. <coughs> you can start like this, Yasu. Yasu. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> It's real aggressive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, just if you speak like you're really fucked off. <laughs> yeah, too. Concrete is late. The the concrete is late? The concrete is late. Where the fuck is the concrete? I don't know where the fucking concrete is. You know, you need to put the concrete down so I can hose it. That's pretty good, man. Wow, well done. Give man, him man. Yeah, a, a little bit, clap. bit of Greek in him, eh? <laughs> Well done. Oh, wow. Maybe you should consider taking that accent to work. Is fucking, uh, is that more of a... F fucking. I can see, a, a, I've, I've yeah, spoken to Nick a few... Yeah, Nick Giannopoulos guy, right? Isn't yeah, I've like spoken to a few Greek concreters and they say, the fucking concrete's late. That's, a good, that's great. I love that. That's oh, really good. Thank you. Yeah. 
All right, that's the end of that game. Um, (laughs) I knew that was coming. How did I know that I was going to get fucked? Uh, fucking <laughs> You didn't get fucked You actually fucking nailed it Matt I used yeah. to I, I used to date a, a, a Greek girl When I was like 18 or 19 How old was she? She was a bit older She was 23 Gorgeous and, Yeah loved it Gorgeous girl yep. And um, and she had this brother And he was like I remember going to dinner For the first time And and the dad was like well, What are you like What are you going to do With your life And her brother's like Do a trade Matt you got to do a trade, Matt. It was just, oh, just wow. so into me about doing a trade. Oh my God. And it fucking made me laugh so So then so you much. became a concreter. So you kind no, of- No, I didn't become did. a concreter. I work in a company that supplies concrete. Oh, so you're concreter. practically a concreter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's exactly that. You just tell them where to put the concrete. No, Greeks, we love concrete, so. Yeah, you guys love doing pillars. Pillars, you know, so we don't have grass. You don't fuck the grass. It's good to smash plates on. Mm. Exactly, yeah. Mm. All right. Now, one game that we are all going to participate in is um, Greek dancing is quite popular, and you do some Greek dancing in your show, don't you? So, well, some dancing in general, uh, yeah, not necessarily you could, Greek. You could call it Greek dancing. <laughs> okay, let's call it Greek dancing. Yeah. So we're all going to have a crack at doing some Greek dancing. Just like, I'm talking like, um, you know, five, ten seconds, because like, I've got no idea... Really, yeah. oh, this is this is probably going to be pretty embarrassing for. Have you got some Greek music? Yeah, should we, yeah, we may, play we'll, we'll play some. There. We'll play some through the headphones. See, this is paper oh, rock. Hang on, you just did it. Oh, look at the paper. Wins. Fine, I'll go first. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I would like to go first. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay, oh, wow. okay. okay. Uh, who, confidence. Oh, fucking, it's because I showed him some Greek with. shit. He's going to use my exact routine. <laughs> All right. All right. So I will now stand up and do some Greek dancing. And then you right, rate you it out of 10. When you want the clap. Okay. Out of 10. Okay. Okay. Probably, I'd, you'd have to probably, for to be in camera, be here. Uh, I'm going to turn around and make face. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, okay. A slow clap. Bravo! Very, very, very good. Okay. Am I voting now or like do I save it for the save it for the end, I reckon. I'll go next. Sorry about that. Yeah, go. Fantastic. Why do I have to go last? <laughs> I don't trust you guys at all. <laughs> See, this is what happens. They start laughing because they know something's going to happen. That's okay. <laughs> they save the best for last. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, ready? Let's start clapping. This <laughs> is... <laughs> fucking Russian or something? No, I think Starts it's Irish dancing? Don't tell him. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. He's trying his best. <laughs> That's good. That's really nice. Fantastic. Kind of like how wow. Walks. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Beautiful, Holy mate. Holy shit, dude. I like to mix the cultures up. <laughs> you fucking. It's very progressive. That was Greek I'm very fusion. Progressive. Greek fusion. Yes. Greek fusion. It's like the Greeks had sex with the Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like a yeah. like a, a Zeus leprechaun. Yeah. Yes. I picture that, yeah. But taller. Oh, you're gonna have to take your headphones off there, bro. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. Drawing on the spot. All right, we can click a Extra points for go. the, the costume. Right. Yeah. Camera end there, yeah, that's All good. right, Brown, let's fucking see you it. Tell us when you want us to clap. Not clapping. Hey. Oh, very good, Matt. Very oh, good. Was that wow. not bad. It wasn't too bad, dude. I like that spin shit. I saw it at a Greek club once. Yeah. Did you? He did this beautiful, he was dancing with his father, this guy, and he did this beautiful, like, he was, they were like, dance, dance, and he just did this spin, and he goes, and he just clapped every time like that. And you've never forgotten it. And I've never really? seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the first time. I asked um I asked somebody and they're saying, Oh, they're, it's a very traditional personal dance between the two of them. That oh, makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well there you fucking go. All right, Katrina. You um, ready for me to um Yeah, we're 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 ready. Let's okay. Judge us. Okay, so um in in uh, third place uh with the fusion. 
diffusion <laughs> mix. Give it up for Michael, everybody. Hey, it's better than last. That was, it, was, it was nice, but it's um, a bit disrespectful <laughs> <laughs> to my country and my people. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, yeah. Straight yeah. sorry for that. <laughs> okay. Um, in se- oh, points wise, I give you like a three points. Okay. Uh, okay for fusion. Three or. Three out of um, five? Three out of five? No, three out of ten. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh my gosh, the confusion here. You're stressing me out, boys. Yeah. I'm sweating. Don't stress now, it. It is hot in here. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that's just because you're sitting next to me, babe. Oh, sorry, sorry. Now, uh, in um, second place between Mari and Matt. Good luck, Matthew. Uh, with, with seven points. Oh. It's Matt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Matt, please, everybody give it up for Matt. Um, I've never seen this move before. It looks like something I do in Pilates, but not oh. Greek dancing. Sorry. No, you don't need to apologize. You gave it a go. Oh, I you feel get the extra I'll points for the, good, the costume, or is this just what you wear? That's just what he woke up in. Okay. We have to Greek dance at a wedding in the future that I'm sure Look, we will. You and so me. I want to practice. I have a husband, you know. No, 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 no. Uh, like a friend of ours. Uh, okay. So I'm sure I'll have to practice. Yeah. Good job. 100%. Now, um, uh, Marty, you've got some extra points from me. Oh, really? Yes. Do you know why? Because I was really, really good and smooth <laughs> and nailed the rhythm. You, you, no, you, you were doing some Greek looking moves, but your fly was undone. Aha. Oh. So I got some extra surprise, which I was grateful for. <laughs> yeah. So 10 points for you, baby. Yeah, there you 10 go. points for you, baby. Yeah. Let's get the bloody cock out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> Thank well, you. That was great. Well done. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for watching fun, that. Fun. Fun times. All right. Well, so. Um, Everyone, so what's, what, what do you got coming up next? Is there anything you want to promote right now? Anything you want to let everyone know about? No, just um, if they can follow me on the, show, the socials. Oh, yeah, socials. The socials at The Real Wog Wife on Instagram and TikTok. At The Real Wog Wife, okay. Yes, you and then you'll see when I have my shows coming up. So, you know, book tickets, come and see it. And James went on the weekend. And he saw, did. And he's, he came and, he and loved we, it. yeah, he really, really enjoyed it. That's he said, fantastic. He said he really liked it. So Would it be fucked if he didn't? Like it? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. just wouldn't have said anything. Do you Thank reckon you. if they have the Real Housewives of Balimba, you'll be like a prime candidate for that? Babes, like uh, it already is happening. <laughs> VIP oh, 4171. <laughs> you know, I have a petition and everything. To keep the re- like for uh, to make Bulimba a gated community, oh. <laughs> like Sanctuary Cove. No, seriously. Or just close off Oxford Street to everyone. <laughs> yes, only good-looking people are allowed in. <laughs> so you can come in, baby. <laughs> With you boys. Uh, I'll have my fun. I'll be able to play golf there no more. That'd be sad. <laughs> oh no, that's okay. <laughs> But yeah, anyway. but they're nothing, nothing like that. Just um, follow. Give me some love on the socials. I'd love mm. that. There you go, guys. Go and check Katrina out at the Real Wog Wife. Mm. Give us exactly. some on the support. socials. And thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. <laughs> no, what you boys are doing is amazing. Honestly, I love it. No, oh, thank you. You make much. me laugh. Oh, appreciate well, thank it. you. Likewise. Yeah. yeah. And I think we're going to have Mike on soon too. Your husband. I don't. I don't know who he is. Oh. <laughs> I yeah, think, oh, that's Bianca's husband. husband. Yes, yeah. that's Bianca's husband. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Who's your husband? Oh, you, we don't need to speak of him. Okay. You know. <laughs> All right. <It's> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Feeling we'll be uncomfortable now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with some Matt versus Michael. Bong break. <laughs> and we're back <laughs> And that was Bianca everybody Matt vs Michael It's Matt vs Michael It's Matt vs Michael today <laughs> Matt vs Michael It's Matt vs Michael It's Matt vs Michael today Yay Come, come, come have fun Come, come, come Oh, ooh, what's the Oh my come god Come have fun Come have fun Come have fun today Bottle of cum all right, and this loser is a... of today has to sit on the brick for the rest of the. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. 
right. Now, what's the score? It's like fucking. Uh, who won last week? No, you Mark, won. No, it's Michael. Like Thirty to two now. Didn't Michael, Michael won? It's not thirty to two. That doesn't make <laughs> it's sense. Something close to that, dude. I think I I'm feel like you're. Digits. No, wasn't it the porn one? No, 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 no. We had J- Joshin. Joshin. Yeah. Uh, and it was. Because he. Oh, he, who's better he at giving it. a speech? Who's yeah. better at giving a speech? All right. All right. So it's currently um, 10 4, I'm going to say, to Michael. 10 4 yeah, yeah, to it Michael. Is, it's 10 4. All right. Now, the winner of this at the end of the season gets to keep Matt's bottle of mints, which is incredibly valuable fluid. It's more valuable than gold, we probably think. Smells like shit, though. <laughs> it smells like shit, but more valuable than gold, probably, we think. <laughs> So it's surely there's got to be a study where they've put this put come in a bottle for years. Oh. I don't think that this has ever been done before. We're really we're, we're pioneers in the cum area, dude. We've done so many things that no one else has done before. Cunt. Remember when we were going to stop referring to it as a cum bottle? <laughs> we pissing himself. We threw the cum. Wait, we're not going to we're not going to mention it as a cum bottle. And we've thrown that completely out. No, I, I it. mostly say mints. Galactus fish. <laughs> All right. So the competition for today for Matt vs. Michael is Who's Better at Accents Part 2? Mm. <laughs> All right. For me to win this, I need water. Oh, 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 man, that's oh. fucked, can Oh, 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 shut the fuck up, oh. man. Accents, pair of part two. All right, so I will give the boys an accent, and then they have to read this sentence, both oh, of them. Oh, this is so difficult. And I, it's <laughs> oh, it's not the accents; shit. it's the sentences that make it hard. I think. Well, you can choose words that otherwise you'd be able to choose word like a yeah, one words sentence. That are easy. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know. That you've, I, I that get you've it. learned no, over I've accepted years. it. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. The first accent is Chinese, China, Chinese, China. Okay, you m- both must try and ha- speak with the accent of a Chinese, and you must read this highlighted sentence. Paper, scissors, rock. To see who goes first. Scissors, paper, rock. Scissors, paper, rock. Scissors, paper, rock. Scissors, paper, rock. <laughs> Would you like to read first or second? He goes first. <laughs> All right. Are they the same sentences we have. Yeah, to read? yeah, it's the highlighted sentence will be the same sentence the whole time. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> All right, Matt, with a Chinese accent. Here we go. <laughs> Cripple people make me nervous because my mother sucked the skin off my feet. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what the Chinese. <laughs> that is like fucking not Chinese. I don't know what What? That is. <laughs> Was, you know, there was uh, maybe a little bit. Fuck, man. Really? Very aggressive, angry Chinese person. Oh, I thought that was quite Chinese. Right. <laughs> Crippled people make me nervous because my mother sucked the skin off my feet. <laughs> that was Australian. <laughs> he just read that normally. Oh, it felt like it was the right energy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one nil to Matt. Are you losing on purpose? That- hey. All right. Next accent is New Zealand. New this Zealand. is all to make me look like a fucking racist. <laughs> it's horrible. You've made him paranoid from your reading it then. <sighs> no, this is not. I swear, Matt, as if we would do that. <laughs> fucking hell. If you go down, we all go it's down. Hot. You know, after the... Uh, you made me do the Greek one on my own. <laughs> oh, no. That was... <laughs> <laughs> It seems like a compilation of Matt Brown the racist. <laughs> this is going to get demonetized. Connor, make sure we bleep and fix it up to make us look like we're not fucking laughing. Make us look like we're not racist. Uh, Stop saying racist. Okay, 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 no. No, no, Matt, you, I promise you I would never do that right, to you. Give dude. me the sentence. All right. So New Zealand? New Zealand is the next accent. Here we go. That's the same sentence. Yes, yeah, it'll be the same sentence every time. 
crippled people make me nervous because my mother sucked the skin off me feet. Dude, that, so bad. Dude, that was pretty fucking good. So oh, shit. I don't know why you changed your voice, but that was actually Dude, really good. You should just normally talk like that now. <laughs> Going to work on Monday talking like that, all right? Dude. Matt Brown is here. I can't do that. I would love you to be like that forever. <laughs> it suits the outfit. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Crippled people make me nervous because my mother sucked the skin off my feet. <laughs> you losing on purpose? Like, that was American. Surely my, you're. My wires are all crossed. He's high as fuck. Isn't that twice? Hey, is this real? Or are you just handicapping me? <laughs> no, I, just, I don't want your sympathy win. No, I'm not. Like, I am pretty confident. Like, I'm up like 10. I'm on double digits. Oh, man. You're being such a rabbit right now. You're a four. Like, I can let you get to five and I'm still double. being w. such a rabbit. And we all know what happens in that story. <laughs> you're being the tortoise. <laughs> I can see you. I can yeah. see you as the tortoise. Yeah. Okay. All right, last accent Fucking is cunt. <laughs> French, France, French, France, Paris. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, I was gonna think about. <laughs> Crippled people make me nervous because my mother sucked in the feet off. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry, sorry. I tried. France is not my strong point. French, I'm sorry. It's not my strong point. What the fuck? Oh, oh man. Shit. That was... Uh. Okay. <clears throat> Crippled people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was all going for that. And it just fell apart. He's going to... be. I wouldn't be surprised if he just nails French. Crippled people. <laughs> make me nervous. Because my mother sucked my skin off my feet. <laughs> like, accents are broken in my brain at the moment. It's hard to do. French is hard because I, I can think of it like I can, I can hear it in my I head. Bell, but bell. Cripple people, people, make me nervous. <laughs> make me nervous. Oh, so very is good. He, uh, people, is he people, one? make yeah, me yeah, nervous. That one, that hands down. Is there no more? No, no more. That's, that's it. Three. It's three. Fuck. Well, I'd lost anyway if I did that. Oh, yeah, that's true. But you hadn't realized that yet. Yeah, true. Oh, all right. That is the end of Matt vs. Michael. It is 10-5, Matt. This is your chance. This is your fucking chance. You're a third of the way through. You've got to claw your way back like a wife out of a domestic relationship. Claw your way out. All right, let's move on. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, it's time for Matt's Tinder Adventures. Yeah. Oh my god, push the fucking button and shit. Yeah. <laughs> push the fucking button. Yeah. T I N D R we have Matt's Tinder. Ha, ha, ha. Matthew Brown has lost control now. These women will lose their soul. Alright. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Look, there wasn't much again, guys. Uh, it's been a busy few weekends for me, so I haven't really been tindering that hard. I dedicated maybe two hours this week, so not much. So I'm sorry the some of the conversations aren't as evolved as they should be, but I think I've got some good setups for this week coming. Just, that's fair. My apologies for, <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. The only Shit. person you should apologize to is me. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Because you are man. destroying my future. I'm 36. No, I didn't put in enough And I hours. have no prospects ahead of me. I'm getting married in five days. Yeah. And, and how do you think I feel? You. How do you think I feel? All right. The only prospect I had disappeared. And now, <laughs> oh, now yeah. I've got nothing but this. This is the only hey, like- this is the best. Remember? Remember our slogan, yeah. man? Dude, bro, look at us, bro. We are the best cunts. <laughs> Ain't no one better than us, baby. We just got to stick the course, baby. It's true. I, I swear to God, in it's 10 years, true. we won't just have 50,000 subscribers with every video demonetized. 
and all the com- <laughs> and all the comments will be all the comments will be like, oh, this guy, these guys still doing that? Yeah, they're still doing that. <laughs> that fucking guy's still single. So, so it goes to a oh, What a picky cunt! What a disgusting. bold! He's so bold. He's so irrelevant. Oh, he's fat and bold. <sighs> oh, he's got a Star Wars. I heard himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Connor, bleep that! Don't cut it. Just bleep it, because. That'll oh, definitely shit. get us age restricted. Bleep it. Connor. Connor. Oh, God. Bleep it. All right, here we go. First fucking conversation. <clears throat> here we go. Here's a conversation. So Matt <sighs> starts this one. He goes, hey. And then she didn't reply. So he's a few hours later, he said, I said, hey, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> and she replies with, hi. Oh, finally, you replied. I'd nearly given up on us, Sarah. <laughs> Something told me not to write. Were you off completely though? And then I had a dream last night. Then I checked my dinner this morning and bang, there's your message. <laughs> How have you been this week? <laughs> she did, has, not has not replied. Oh dude, I wish she would reply to that one. Just <laughs> oh. <laughs> misspell the sentence. <laughs> yeah, purposely just make no sense. Anyway, all right. <clears throat> so this chick's in a band. So Matt starts with, <sighs> we can sing together. I used to be in a band. Is that your sp- in your spare time you like to have sing-offs? Oh yes, you figured it out. What sort of band? Are we- <laughs> That's the, the dumbest shit ever, dude. What, what sort of band are we talking? <clears throat> and then I didn't reply for a few days. <laughs> Sorry for the slow replies. I've been sleeping a fair bit. I've actually got some bed sores now. I haven't had them for ages. <laughs> How have you been in shit? Flap your arms around and snap your head backwards and forwards really fast. <laughs> She replied? <laughs> no, she did oh, not damn reply. it. Oh, I can't wait for the reply of that. Yeah, that was a while ago. And I think <sighs> she's just unmatched. Oh, <laughs> Flap your arms around and snap your head backwards and forwards really fast. Was she pretty? <laughs> so, Matt, um, this chick, her first picture is her floating in a pool. Okay? It's important because it's relevant to the message that you sent her. So, Matt says... I'm the kind of guy that would bomb dive on you if you were floating in the pool like you are in your picture. <laughs> like fully tuck my knees in, just aim for the middle of you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And she she that? Oh, 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 I would have written back to that. That's hilarious. Oh, man, that would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh, it's gone. Maybe she All comes right. from a part of the world where she doesn't know what bomb diving is. All right, this lady starts the conversation. She says, Ahoy! I've been staring at your message for like four days trying to work out what ahoy means (laughs) but I just can't figure it out (laughs) I'm a huge physical being and I like to be touched and reassured (laughs) most of the time can you handle that? (laughs) I'm I'm also living in an underground (laughs) wombat tunnel I'm I'm just being honest I'm just being honest are you serious? (laughs) I just said I was being honest sorry What's with all the trust issues? If we're going to work, you have to trust me. I've got a few job interviews this week. Can I stay at your place? The Wombat Borough is a pretty tight squeeze for me. (laughs) (laughs) Did she reply? No reply. Oh, man. I love wombats. Very cool animal. Oh, man. Imagine living in a wombat hole. (laughs) That'd be fun. They look so happy in there, though. (sighs) Sleep all day. Play or not. All right, so she starts this message, and she's actually quite attractive. I'll say that. How about that? Eh? I'll say that. Her name is um is literally S H H H. So shh. Anyway. So she's fake. No, I think she just doesn't want to reveal her identity. Don't you have to pay to change your name? I just fuck on. Happy Friday. <clears throat> Hope you had an amazing weekend. Shh. I love your name, by the way. Is it short for something, or just one of them foreign ones? Can you understand? She didn't reply for a few days, so Matt says, Can you understand? <laughs> My English is fine, just a busy professional. Oh, sick. What are you a professional in? Oh, busy professional. <laughs> Remember Ian Thorpe? <laughs> oh, fuck, he was hectic. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching people the art of how to do a job. Lucky I never held my breath awaiting your response. Yeah, sorry for the slow replies. I'm in the middle of something and it's stressing me out so much. <laughs> Basically, these guys from Southside keep coming up to North Brisbane and like doing shit in our neighborhood. And my friends want to go to Southside and retaliate. 
I'm trying to talk them out of it, but it's not looking good. Respect is a big thing, and once you disrespect us, you're in real trouble. But anyway, enough about me. Do you remember Ian Thorpe? <laughs> she hasn't replied. Oh, my. Yeah, oh. fuck. That sounds so, she, so she kind of wanted to like make her think you're part of a gang. So it's like, it's like she <laughs> thinks about, she thought about you were Ian <laughs> Thorpe. Why didn't you try with her? Dude, like... Oh. Man, oh man, I'm I'm fucking. This is this is how I roll, bro. It might come round. I've heard, you've literally read out the conversation that you had with Mon, and it did not sound anything like that. <laughs> it was all like, "Yeah, babe, it's good to see you, babe, babe." Oh, no, you, yeah, look, you that was, him, I, would, I would argue that this is way better than what I did with Mon. You still got Mon, yeah, and Mon was the one saying "babe" and it. No, first it was on. you now saying I also babe. say it. You said babe. I'm okay with her saying babe. What did you I said really? babe? Yeah, oh yeah. No. I yep. we're, we're gonna have to double. As soon as she one, said babe. babe, you started throwing babes all over the place. Alright, anyway, here we go. <laughs> Blair. <clears throat> Just wanted to say hi. Getting into anything fun today? Blair. <laughs> Light me on fire. I'm so excited. I'm clapping my hands really fast and stomping my feet. <laughs> Why are you so excited? My mum came over for dinner and she cooked my favourite. Pancake with goat's cheese and string. What's your favourite? <laughs> I'm doing circles with my finger around my belly. It's so ticklish. <laughs> you should try it. <laughs> she didn't write back, did she? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this oh one God. says, <clears throat> Matt starts a conversation. <clears throat> your smile is infection. How come? <laughs> No reply from that one. Infection. <laughs> Actually, I don't know about you. <laughs> right, so one, Matt man. starts one here. <clears throat> Breathe life into my lungs and I will forever exhale love for you. <laughs> Sorry, just working on a poem. How are you, Sarah? Oh, that's so bad. That's as bad as you saying. Please babe. tell me there's a reply. <laughs> no reply. Oh fuck. I've only just written it recently, so hopefully. <laughs> Here's another one. <laughs> Bash me unconscious. <laughs> What's the deal with you and shit? What does that mean? I'm just like, <laughs> bash me unconscious. <laughs> I'm always saying random awesome shit like that. <laughs> Squelch fresh shit in your hands and talk to your friends later. Trust me, it's so funny. Oh, and she got match. matched. Up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, she's gonna like see me out and be like, "That guy told me to scooch shit in my hands." Oh, and man. he told me, asked me to bash him unconscious. Oh my god! I want to get right up close to you in your personal space, babe. How's your oh. weekend and shit? Hectic or what? Laugh my ass off. I'm like, weekend was okay, nothing grand. How was yours? Also, don't get too close. Might jab ya. Jab me. You aren't like a junkie or anything, right? I don't date junkies anymore. Although I do miss shooting up occasionally. Should we shoot up on our first date? <laughs> a bit wild, but I reckon it would break the ice a bit. Laugh my ass off. Not what I was expecting. Sorry to disappoint, but no junkies over here. <clears throat> Oh, well, well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I don't date junkies much anymore anyway. I'm working at the carnival next weekend. I can get you a free ticket if you want. Come see me. Be with me, son. Lol, that sounds like fun. Why not? I'll come see you. Fuck yes! Fuck yeah! <laughs> I'm collecting tickets at the front door, and then I'll be cleaning up the elephant store once everyone is inside. You can watch the show or help me clean the elephant store. I'm a sow. <laughs> Love my ass off. You, you know what? I actually thought you were joking. I'll watch you clean. I still think you're joking. No, I'm being dead serious. I pick up extra hours on extra work on weekends when the carnival comes to Brisbane. One of the acrobats was my primary school teacher and kind of got me interested. Bring a camera and we can get selfies with the elephants and shit. One's called Bayan. He's loose as shit. He even drinks beer if you offer it to him. It's fucking hilarious. Okay, count me in. This will be a first for me. I've, I've actually never been to a carnival. What's the carnival called? It's called the Brownery and it's in Bridgman Downs. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's get this fucking elephant smash this shit and film it. That would be such a funny TikTok and shit. Ever been viral? I have. I dropped a coffee into a pram accidentally and someone filmed it. Fucking hectic. She didn't write back. No reply. No. Oh, dude, I hope there's a reply to that. That one was oh. incredible. All right, so this Matt sort of started losing his shit and just sort of started saying random shit that doesn't really make sense. So hang on, let's hang enjoy on. Some of How are you meant to funnel that one? To me. Well, because sometimes you don't make much sense. I reckon... Right, so, so Matt starts with... <clears throat> Amy, 
Singe my factors. <laughs> Whatever. How's your hips? <laughs> oh, you can't say that. She replies, sorry? Are your hips loose? I found that as I've aged, my hips are so tight that I can't even do my shoelaces up anymore. Factor to the edge, Amy. It's free. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, okay. And she did that shrugging emoji. Raise me up, bro. Come on. I'm pouring my heart out here. Galvanized iron. Waste. <laughs> you got a TV? <laughs> no. Rip my shoulder dangle. What do you even watch then? And how? Do you sleep? <laughs> Question. <laughs> like, like you don't sleep, so you want to find a partner. You just won't sleep. Oh, and that is good. Matt's Tinder Avengers, everybody. Oh man, Fuck Matt, you Matt. silly, silly boy, Matt. That's never gonna work. I reckon it's coming close. Yeah, yeah. Look, I haven't spent much time on it. It's a time thing. The more time I put in, the more <laughs> it comes out. It's very good. We have questions from your answers. Your questions are all our answers and the answers from your questions from the questions and your answers. These are answers for your questions and these answers for your questions and the questions and your answers. These are answers from your questions. And this is a segment where we answer the questions that you guys have commented on the Marty Mockle Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. And once you've commented your question, have a scroll through and like the other questions that you want us to answer, Matt. Top question went to Dean Moore. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Michael, Sorry. we're questions now. <laughs> Will lying to Lockie ever make a comeback? Yeah, oh, let's do it right now. Hello, mate. Hey, you fucking gone. Are you back in Australia? Yeah, my back's fine. How are you? Oh, man, that's good news. Man, we made the news. We're going to be on the six o'clock news tonight. Really? What'd you say? For a fucking video we were filming. What'd you, what'd you, what'd you, what'd you, we yeah. were involved in a car accident. Really? A real one? Yeah, dude. It's in the whole news crew. <laughs> what? You in some... the wear line, you can't. <laughs> we fucking got you, Lockie. Uh, I was really no, fucked in that one. The audio sounds different. Did you believe it? <laughs> I did, yeah. I, really I fully did. forgot what we were meant to, what I was meant to the say. The burnt tree. Oh, the burnt tree. Yeah, shit. I fully How forgot. did you forget that? Because I'm high now. Yeah, it happens. How are you high? I had a edible. little bit of ed Michael's edible. You've even forgotten that Lockie's on the phone. Oh, yeah, Lockie. Holy shit. Hey, I'm still here, guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we got you again, you dickhead. <laughs> yeah, we're I, fucking I, I easy. Fully, I was actually fully convinced on that. I was like, oh, yep. <laughs> holy oh, really? fuck, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was legit. That was so, like, yeah, a bit of a simple one, but yeah, it got me. <laughs> Holy shit, we actually got him. Yeah, Fuck, we've still got it. There you go. We lied to Lockie. Of course we got him. All right, dude. Sorry for wasting your time. I'll see you on fucking Saturday. Come fucking on. love you so much. Bye. So much. Bye. See you, dude. There you go. That answers that question. Mm. Um, next question is from Stephen Hunt. Uh, will you boys be doing a live podcast again this year? I really want to meet Arnold Fame and discuss his and pigs. Yeah, yeah, we will be. Right. No venue locked in yet, but we should probably get a fuck move on that kind of Next question. I bet we won't do that till the very last minute again. What happened? <laughs> Next question. Is from Matt Brown's Dirty Mutt. <laughs> dirty Mutt, I bet he meant. Nah, Mutt. Mutt. If you three were all legitimately to go on Australians Got Talent together, what would you perform? An exorcism. No, I reckon what we do is... I would exercise myself. Have you seen the movie Dirty Dancing? Yeah, so you can do the Dirty Dancing dance at the end? We'd do that. Yeah, that's so true. The time of my life. That one? Yeah, that's exactly what we would do, come to think of it. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> that is fucking spot on. I'd probably do a live have on stage and crack my neck back as I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's terrifying. Sorry. Sorry. That's my it's talent. being honest. <laughs> Peter Hunt said, "What? what is a shock hidden talent that you boys have? Besides Matt's having abilities. Oh my God. What the fuck? What the fuck? I, Stephen can, Hunt I can flip my hat onto my head. From, on, from anyway, sport. Marty, what talent do you have? Um, Fuck. I don't know. Why? Better. I don't think that I, I maybe the hand thing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty good. Yeah, look at that, everyone. Kind of get a zoom in on that, my hand there, see? You got to do it for the camera, Michael. This is the hat trick. You don't believe me. 
I right now no. <laughs> Fucking hell, he pulled it off. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled it off. That shouldn't have happened. That's Sorry. unbelievable. That's Sorry about that. Fucking, there you go, Khan. That's his talent. Uh, my hidden talent besides having is... Uh, I have Shit! A, Sorry. I have a dirty, dirty... Uh, secret. Secret and talent of... Um, I'm just playing with saliva. Oh, that's his talent. How have you both broken these off? <laughs> They're shit it doesn't make microphones. sense. Microphones. They're not shit. Okay. If you want to get yeah, your wireless ones, dude. if you want to get your wireless ones, we have to upgrade the soundboard. They don't even fit me. <laughs> Michael. Next question. Michael, Sorry. you need to take this podcast seriously or it's not going to work. Okay. If you start playing around like that, it's not going to work. All right. Next question. I understand you're, on, you're under the influence of drugs right now. Next question. You need to be better. Okay. Next question. Next question is from Bryce, Bryce Carter. Carter. Would you let a fan uh, be a special guest on the podcast? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, technically we're kind we're kind of going to have a little phone interview with Pratty who got the tattoo. So it's kind of like having a guest oh, yeah. on uh, a fan guest on the podcast. Yeah. yeah, but like in person, yeah, I suppose we would. Yeah, it would ha- I, <laughs> I, I, it'd be pretty funny. We just talk about us the whole time. Or so, what do you like about <laughs> us? Oh, yeah. oh, dude. I know. I, I think they'd have to be doing. They'd have to have done something. We could just do a really like Exciting. super self indulgent. Um, <laughs> segment where we just like go through our analytics and like talk about how awesome and shit we are and how well we're doing. They just tell us what their favorite video is, their second favorite, and when they laugh the most at us. The what, third, what our best three qualities are. The fourth. Wow. <laughs> Next Sorry. question is from uh, Like Mac Bergen. Um, what was the worst rejection you've ever had from the old days from a chick or a guy when you're out trying to pick up? Oh, good question. I know I've had some shockers. Yeah, I'm trying to think. It was just so rare, you know. I was thrown off a bridge. <laughs> that was your rejection. <laughs> she tried to kill him when he came on to her. <laughs> Dude, imagine me. Try just imagine Luke stomping my feet oh, at yes. the South Bank Bridge. <laughs> She's <is> horrific. <laughs> I have that burned into my retina, eh? That is like. Michael's hanging from a fucking 20 meter or 10 meter bridge and he changed his mind and he wanted to claw his way back up but there was no way he was going to be able to climb back up so Luke just starts stomping his fingernails as he's hanging on Michael has to let go into the oh, Brisbane River it's terrifying you got in the Brizzy River a few times in the middle of it too it's like oh, terrifying there yeah that'd be the worst place to go is in the Brisbane River. Wow, just hammer drunk and shit. Can't see what's in there. Surprise! Oh. Full of bull sharks too. So yeah. scary. They hunt at night, can't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't had. I can't recall too many worse rejections. But I did walk up to a girl really hammered once and tried to. I was like, "Hey, what's your name? What's your name?" And she was sitting down with kind of half side onto me, and she's like turned around and she's on her mobile. She says, "I'm on the phone." Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh man, that's rough. <laughs> and I just walked away. Like that. <laughs> what's and your name, yeah. boy? What's your name? <laughs> it was like it was like four. It was like four in the morning too. It was very embarrassing. And I remember my friend <laughs> wasn't on the phone. My friend <laughs> Simon was behind me. He was like, ah! <laughs> like laughing at me. And then she kind of <laughs> giggled at Simon laughing at me. She didn't have her hands at her head or her head. She was like, she was just like this, facing the other direction. I walked up, hammered, and like, I think someone sort of said, "Oh, go talk to her" or something like that. And I just tried to be a hero. Was she pretty? I think so. Yeah, that's why you went talk to her. You wanted to fuck her. You wanted to fuck her that night, hey? You wanted her to be your fuck doll. <sighs> Next question is from <laughs> Avi. Um, which what's, which what's of your, your friends, friends or, or, or you know group co-workers do you like to prank, prank um, um, besides each other? Like so, well, it's probably Michael is by far my favorite. Yeah, but besides Michael, um, James is around us a lot, but it's like if it's not, it's it's just not as funny with James because like he's just like I feel bad immediately. Why do you feel bad? I don't know. You fucking do the worst shit to me. Yeah, but like you see, yeah, I don't know. How about you feel a bit of bad for me? The alarm clocks was good. No, it was not good. This is sort of like cool that like I've never seen a hundred alarm clocks do that. Yeah, it was visually very very entertaining. But um, I, I, my favorite would yeah be Matt for sure. 
And Julian, Julian gets quite um worked up very quickly. It's very aggressive. Yeah, but um, yeah, definitely mad. I would say. Oh, that's not good. I, 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 I can't explain it. One's funny, one's not. I can't explain it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a poster for drug addicts. <laughs> Glorifying them. Oh. Look at us drug addicts That's and how well cute. we've done. It's Next so question cute. is from Fuggin' Dog. Whose car got destroyed at the bachelor party? Also, are there any other crazy stories from it? Well, yeah, Luke, I was trying to think what uh, Luke put the the golf club through first. That's oh yeah, what that's what it started off. it. That's right. So Luke threw a golf club and it shattered one of Michael's windscreens. And then once that's happened, like I don't know. Again, it's just something you can't explain. The respect levels when you see that is just like the respect for that car is gone now. And then I, I believe Henry threw a rock on the hood. Oh, really? And then as soon as that happened, <laughs> yeah, like right. the normal people just started abusing <laughs> did, the car. Did Henry, was Henry, second? Henry did it in front of a large group of people to show them that it was okay. Like 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 Mon's dad and his best mates were there. <laughs> of really, course that he got, did. That got everyone throwing yeah. bottles and shit. Yeah. <laughs> like people who were he normal. He inspired me because I was just launching rocks into it by the end. Yeah. But like all the normal people who wouldn't destroy and they just started throwing their empty bottles and rocks, yeah. anything they it's could weird. find out. It's weird. There's something amazing about a bottle going through a window. Yeah, I really like it too. It's better yeah. than a rock. Because really? it's like, it's hard to, it's glass breaking glass. <laughs> oh, man, Very man. cool. Oh my God. I just had a fucking sickening thought. Remember when we were camping with Shami and the boys and I threw that wine bottle through the back window? Yeah. Imagine if I was, my aim was off and it came through the front view. Dude, that was fucking flying. Hammered that in I would have been cut up for sure. Oh man, that would have been rough. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, next one is from. No, wait, are there any more buck stories that we're forgetting? Uh, oh. oh, we told one. We told the cum bottle opening when they had a whole room of people, yeah, which is yep. pretty funny. But that was on the last podcast, which just comes out today. So, yeah, fuck. Yeah, um, so that hasn't come out yet. But yeah, I, th- I'm, I think we covered most shit. But I'm sure we're forgetting heaps. But fuck it, can't fucking suck me off, can't. Yeah, just a beautiful time. Yeah, it was a lot of a lot of laughs. Say, eh? it's fucking good shit. Oh, it's funny seeing Greg's wait, reaction. The another the good story was uh, we ordered pizza. And, oh yeah. And she showed. Do you want to tell it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Luke ordered like fucking I don't know, forty pieces or something. And then the pizza delivery uh, girl was it a girl. It was a girl. Yeah. Came and. Henry was on the roof of the brown area. She like was really five, nice. Five she was a lovely dudes. girl. And Henry just starts <laughs> fucking screaming so, at her. So what happened was James yells out, um, Hen- uh, Henry, say goodbye to her. Say goodbye to her. And he just started screaming, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> just repeatedly, and then, and then fuck poor, off. Poor Ryan had to go out and like collect the pizzas and just with that screaming happening as he's interacting <laughs> oh, with her. so rude. <laughs> I think it was um, <laughs> I think it was a little pizza girl Lauren who who got lost last time that I met. Oh, well, there yeah. you go. She won't be. Uh, she's we're cool. Sorry, Lauren. Yeah, she's cool. She she. She's yeah, cool. she's fine. It's fucking. Everyone was having a good old belly laugh at Henry abusing the child. Oh, um, oh, 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 oh no! Um, this so is a Star Wars. This is a comment. <laughs> this is a comment, but I thought it was quite funny that you guys might get a giggle. It's from Dylan B. Imagine working at the concrete tower and you see your abusive boss, Matt Brown, on the internet dressed like a pirate hanging from a ceiling in a nappy. <laughs> yeah, that would be very good visual. So, yeah, it made me think, like, what to... It could be worse. Yeah. You could be... You could have that chair at your other job. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, I guess, like, <laughs> reward and sacrifice. Uh, now you got brick. Now you got it. Where is the brick, dude? It's behind him. Glick hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, next one's from It's Daniel. Um, how did you guys meet Julian? Have we ever t- told that story? I think so, but we'll explain it again if it got a few likes. Julian was Jackson's filmer, and then we met him, and then Jackson went overseas or something, and then we, uh, a couple, oh, it was like a year or so later, when Con had to move on back to Cracker Milk, we fucking hit him up. Ju- Julian lived in church road with me they actually had sex <laughs> they had the back room Michael would call Julian at 4am or t- <laughs> no, text him was it yeah I'd message him that's right I can't <laughs> telling him that you miss him or something <laughs> yeah. 
like 4 a.m. Act like you've been like awake that whole time. That's right. It's to set alarms <laughs> to wake up. That's fucking crazy. Wake yourself up to send a text. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Go on, man. Next question is from Nathan Dewey. Uh, did anyone ever throw human shit at Judge Judy's back? Did you guys know? Did anyone? Did we yeah, no, it never happened. Again? It never happened. Um, and like, yeah, fucking, she's retired and she now. I she's think like that she's awesome. I really like her. I think she's like eighty years old. She's yeah, like, yeah, I like her too. But it still would have been pretty funny to see her facial reaction if someone threw human shit at her. But if you gave her like a hundred grand after. Then I'd feel okay. I with reckon it. she still would press charges, but just see the anger in her face and the, her face. Imagine Judy, Judge Judy's face as she realizes there's human shit on her black cloak. Well, it'd be like a shock. She'd be, yeah, she'd be so like, "What is this?" And then you say, "It's my shit. You've got my shit on your back." She would get so that she sees. That would be very funny. Oh man, it would be a oh. very good laugh. It's, it's my human shit. You've got. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Anyway, let's move on to M- 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 Michael's m- m- movie reviews and Matt's website reviews. Matt's got a movie for Michael to review. Matt's father's name is Greg and Michael would rather be dead. This is Michael's movie reviews. <laughs> oh, oh. oh shit, I put my notes. I didn't send my notes to you. Oh, oh my god, dude. <clears throat> okay, no, it's right. I'll Did you even watch it? Over. Yeah. He didn't watch it, did he? He didn't watch it, did he? I don't know. I did. I did watch it. I'll know if you've watched it because there's somebody in it, and without a doubt, you're gonna go, oh, "You're in it. You're in it. He knows it. Who you're, you're in about. it already." Um, he knows what do you mean? Raskus Mano. <sighs> it was worth a shot. Raskus Mano is the name that they always talk. He shouldn't have shot him. He was tied up. No, no, no. What movie it's, is this? Um, you know LA, LA Noir? Yeah, yeah, The no. video game? That's yeah. what he showed me. That's what it's based on. That's what LA Noir based it off is that, is that movie. He runs in Russell Crowe, very good. No, no, what's the name? I enjoyed no, Russell Crowe. What's that name? You just said that name. Now I'm trying to think what the actual name is. LA Noir. Um, Rolo Tomasi yes. is the name you're thinking of. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. For well, who's what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? It, what it's movie like is this? okay. Imagine a detective film mixed with like what film? Trying is it? to LA be like from like the it's called the LA 50s. Confidential. Okay, it's sort of like wannabe artsy. It was okay. Russell Crowe was good, and I liked him. What's the bad guy's name? Um, Kevin I, Spacey was okay. He wasn't the bad guy, but he was in it. And then the sergeant, the guy from Longest Yard, who he was very good. I thought he you would. I thought you would have said Babe. The warden from Long Island. Yeah. yeah. Did you did the did the scene where he kills? Spoil it. Um, the scene where he kills Kevin Spacey. Did that catch you off guard? Yeah. Well, it was abrupt. Yeah. And when he went off guard. When he like went in and like set up the shootings on like that dude when he walked in and shot like that chick that was tied up. Mm. So you sound like you kind of liked it. It was. Did it? It was like. It sounds like you watched it in fucking clips. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you I didn't watch a fucking thing dude how did you know about it <laughs> he nearly I had to study up I just I don't believe in that movie I reckon <laughs> you've got to watch it I know it's shit so why would I hang watch on, it hang on you've Can got you to give watch me another one no you've got to watch them otherwise this thing doesn't make sense that's okay. twice now you've disappointed everyone by not watching a fucking film that I've given you and I'm sitting here watching you shit on your hands and stuff <laughs> and go <laughs> look at it look at it on my back shoot it <laughs> do you know what I mean and you don't that's so disrespectful to the the entire podcast All right, I'll watch it this week but I'll watch another film on top of it because I know it will be shit. So he wants another movie as well as LA Confidential. If you could just, okay, you're allowed to have that on, but on the same screen, I can have like no ping pong rallies going on. No, 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 no. You got to watch it. <laughs> I get and to watch it. the ping pong rallies. You got to watch it with no distractions so you can fully grasp it. 
Okay. That's so disappointing. You had two, you've had two weeks to watch I, it. I know. And you haven't watched it. It's like saying something's not shit when you know it's shit. You didn't watch it. So how could you even say it? I just know. I know it's going to be it's shit. Fucking disappointing. Just, I saw like 30 seconds of it today and I was like, nah, this Danny is Danny DeVito is in it. Doesn't matter. Oh, uh, well, no. You like Danny DeVito. And you like yeah. Danny DeVito. But like, oh, I wouldn't it's enjoy like a it. a lot of good actors in it. Sounds like maybe. Oh, dude, it's great. Oh, I'll watch it. Sorry. Oh. This is such a waste of time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I've got it. so many backed up movies I want to get out. Now we've lost two weeks. That's two movie reviews. As I said, people a movie do not get this one. They I'll don't get two. two movie reviews. You've stolen that from them. Look, he'll watch, watch two. I'll catch this up. You're going to watch two movies for me. Back to back, brother. You have to swear on Amber that you're going to watch two. I can't. Yep. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Put it there, mate. I should choose something really long so I have to watch two long movies. Swear on Amber, you're going to watch two movies and the people get two movie reviews. Yep. He didn't say it. Doesn't matter. He's crossing his fingers like that. It's an honour. Your honour. All right. So no, you have we'll to watch LA Confidential and... I reckon what make me watch it twice. No. No. We're getting two movies. You just shook on it. So, um, Candace, oh, I'm sorry if I butcher your last name, Maha, 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 Maha. Um, Can- Candace suggested Point Break, which I'm glad she suggested because that is a very fun movie that I love. <laughs> and it's from, I think it's from the 90s. Fucking hell, man. <clears throat> What's it called? Point Did she Break. Say- Point oh, Break. Fuck. Point Break. Is that a, like a beach movie? Sort of. Really? Man, I guarantee it will be shit. Yeah, so LA terrible, Confidential dude. plus Point Break, which has Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves surfing and, and car and robberies. It's going to be a fucking good time. Wait, is it a surfing film? Yeah, surfing and, and bank robberies. Oh, no, dude. You, <laughs> that is action. I don't like that. The, the, the lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers is in it. You're going to have a good time. No, we'll right. see. All right, he's not in it a lot, but he's in it. <clears throat> All right, Matt. So we had you watch. You better watch those fucking movies. Otherwise, you're going to rob them of a third time <laughs> Matt, of a movie review. We had Matt. And it is the most beloved. Sorry to cut you off. It is the most beloved part of this podcast is these movie reviews. And you've stolen that from them for two weeks. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. You're meant to be a professional. LA Confidential and Blue Crush. I'll watch them both back to back. Break. Oh, Blue Crush. <laughs> it is point break. And you better watch it. And make sure you don't watch the new one. Watch the old one. The Keanu Reeves. The same Reeves. film. Blue Crush and Breakpoint <laughs> are the same film to me. I promise you. Oh. Anyway. All right. So we Sorry. had Matt watch the Timmy and Calvin <laughs> series. The Timmy and Calvin series, which is a sketch comedy series about a bully and a victim. He watched all three, but he did not not watch the latest installment where um, James was the teacher. So maybe all of I these videos just, are on I our website. Just say I didn't watch it. All of these videos are on our website. <laughs> so you can see them there. What's but wrong? Here we go. I'm upset that you haven't watched that film. Dude, Breaking Point shit. I promise you. All right, here we go. Let's let's move on. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Let's, let's I'll watch them both this week to make up for it, but it was, I promise you I will not like it. <sighs> All right, Matt. So what'd you think of the Timmy and Calvin series? No, our first ever installment was like when we first started making website videos and then the latest installment was like last year or something. Oh, really? Mm. Well, maybe I should have watched the fourth one. Yeah, yeah I think so. Because, um, yeah. Well, let's just see what I've got here. <laughs> um, So Timmy and Calvin part one. Mm. It's a bullying video. Yeah. Um, it's to raise awareness for bullying. Ruining next question. Next question. Next question. He's <laughs> ruining this podcast. <laughs> He's just waiting for people to ask him questions. We're not doing questions. We're doing your <laughs> website <laughs> review. Move on. Okay, hey, hurry up. No, no, what? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, come on, man. Okay, you sorry. need to be better. You need to be more professional. I'll put it up halfway. I don't care about the chair. I care about you. Fuck, this is coming more professional. Fuck, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Look, this is took the pressure off my back. God, I was having a very good podcast, and you've ruined it. <laughs> well, we need to we need to move on. Yeah, well, let's just move on then. You know, no, no, I'll on. hear it. I'll listen to it. Like, I'll, I'll, do, I'll go with it. Your outfits were cute. Thank you. For man. Part one. What about part two and three? Considering the budget and the setups for 
the time. I thought they were very well done. I don't even know what we're wearing. Little school, school. uniforms. Yeah. Very cute. Oh, Jesus. But I didn't like the messy living room for the schoolyard or school oh, classroom. That, one, that pissed yeah, me yeah. off. Well, you know, you Take know some how we, fucking pride you in know it. How we used was to the be. house messy? It was just in your shit living room. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a living your room? Shit living room, not just a living room. It's a shit living it's room. It's a shit it's just shit everywhere. <laughs> Piled in the corner It's like you just Pushed it to the sides So you could have A filming space <laughs> What was it Like the furniture Oh yeah And then there's All shit on it At Pepperina Place That yeah, place Just Pepperina a fucking place. Fucking mess But we had Destroyed that toilet And then the first Cleaners came in The first bond cleaners And they just turned around And walked out They didn't even bother starting Really Yeah don't, you don't remember that Oh vaguely I do remember that. Yeah. That's right. I remember. So I was just like, no, nah, I'm not doing this. See you later. It would have been so disrespectful to see that toilet. Because you can tell whoever's doing it is doing it on purpose. <laughs> oh. Spraying the bowl and then leaving it. There's Which was no in the way. video too. There's no way you could leave that. Which was in the video. Not notice it. That was part of the video. <laughs> really? Anyway, I'll get to it. Wow, um, I forgot that. Marty's bullying is very good. <laughs> Very, very good. Whether you are acting that or you, you know, you, you practiced it or you were a bully at school. I don't know where you pulled that from. That was a dark bully. And I really enjoyed it. That's like, it's good acting. Shut up. Sorry. Marty, you did very well. Thank you, man. Um, Michael kept going between an American accent and an Aussie accent during it. And that was highly annoying. <laughs> And it wasn't even for ages. It was just a couple of times where you went to an American accent. That's that character. That's what he does. Yeah, but he, it does. He sometimes he speaks stupid. an American accent. <laughs> but then in parts two and three, you don't do it. Yeah, he lost that like tick. Yeah. yeah. It's just a nervous so thing the, he had in high school. That's definitely going to go against <laughs> you guys in this video. Um, Did you like the ending of part shut one? Shut up. The ending of part one. The variant you see the shooter walk past in the background. You didn't notice that, did you? Yes. I saw it. Um, we were like, wow, that's witty. Uh, I enjoyed the uh, the bin the bin bully part, like with the where he where he puts him in the bin, put Michael in the bin. Yeah. I remember that? Um, so like, like as a bully, he puts you in the bin to like prank you. You know, which be, bin? Oh, so just a wheelie, wheelie bin. bin but the best part it. was that I knew because of your budget and how you filmed at that time that there's no way you clean that bin. You just chucked him straight in. Yeah, so it must have smelled like shit. Connor filmed that one. Yeah, which leads to the next part. Um, oh, well, a pardon here. I just love how you guys kept actually, actually bullying Connor throughout the video. Really? <laughs> you just, you'd, you'd break, is it the fourth wall? You just break the fourth wall every time and be like, fucking hell, Connor. Just <laughs> straight because of where he was standing. That was fucking funny. Oh, man. Um, it was a good time. Um, also, I enjoyed how Marty would be like a bit bipolar and bounce between like being super cruel, but then telling him he loves you <laughs> yeah, during the bullying. Develop this weird love for his victim. Michael, you struggled in this video, but <laughs> you took that wedgie really well. That was probably your best performance of the- This one or two? This is all of them. Out of all the performances of the three, you taking the wedgie was probably the best. Okay. Oh, wow. That's just, it one. just looked fucked. I don't remember which one it was. Part one. Okay. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed the bullying, Connor. Um, also, I wanted to ask a question, Michael. How did you feel about taking the deodorant can to the skin considering your theories of deodorant cans? Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. But you used to do it, like, I think I did it once as a kid. Well, we, we, had lo we didn't care as much back then because we had, didn't have much to lose. The toilet scene with the piss and the shit <laughs> was... Fucked. <laughs> it was so disgusting. What was that? There's a shit covered toilet. Like look like recent. Marty pisses in the toilet and then he dunks your head into it. Do you remember that? Vaguely. You swirly and then flush or yeah. something? Yeah. Oh, actually I remember Connor looking up just being like, what the fuck was that? I vaguely remember that. Yeah, I don't know. That's... Maybe speak yeah. to your therapist about that because yeah. that's not on. That was art. That, that fucking toilet was. We just come. Uh, we 
fucking oh a dark toilet to toilet shit. for a reason we just painted that thing every yeah day, i remember because i come to podcast and i walk in to go to the toilet i'm like fuck <laughs> and it just ruined <laughs> is that hard to deal with yeah that's hard to do you, you really? started doing it here and then that's why i turned around and said i'm never cleaning that toilet again and i haven't cleaned the hallway toilet since you guys take care of that as a group yeah that's yeah, all right I, we just use a toilet brush Whenever no, no, you don't. Skids. Oh, do you, you do not. You can leave it for up to a week. Lie. I swear to you God. You can leave it for up to a week, I reckon. Anyway. Part two. Um, all right. So uh, the, this is the prison one. Um, it's kind of shit. Yeah. I'd yeah. say it's our weakest of the It is series. definitely the weakest. Um, I enjoyed the location. Was that Powerhouse? But yeah. I, I reckon. Yeah. Okay. Um, it worked really well, I thought, for the prison yard. Um, so that I I felt was good. That's that one percent of shit I'm talking about. Oh, um, oh. Uh, <laughs> Michael's attempt to join a gang got me a little <laughs> when he's wrapping a little <laughs> thing around his head. Um, um, uh, the best part of the whole part two because it was pretty shit. Like the whole thing was pretty shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it just dragged on. It was shit for ages. I liked how you looked in it though. You looked like a fucking creep after your school shooting. Like, no, you did look like a creep. That was that was well well acted. I played him well. Yeah. Um, I did laugh at the soap dropping scene where, where you dropped the soap oh, in front yeah, of Mike. Right. That was like awkwardly fucked. Because <laughs> you still had your underwear, but you're just in your underwear. And, but then <laughs> scenes like looked... Oh! <laughs> like a weird scream. He That's drops right. the, the the good part is he drops the soap <laughs> and it, the camera flicks back and his clothes are gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, now thinking about it, it, it was quite funny. So holy god! Yeah, that was very good. Actually, you know what? That oh, it's tough because part two and three are shit. Oh, 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 oh. fucking like, hippie plotter! Like part one the most. Yeah, part two and three are that so shit. Right, I'll, I'll get to a part three in a sec, but part two and three are so shit. But they both have r like one really good scene that saves them. And now I can't decide which one was better. The shower scene's pretty good, but maybe part three wins. So part three, I love the one percenter. You really thought about where you're going to film it. I loved your little hideout Lo location. Yeah, I love that Julian says this is better than your normal house. <laughs> it made me laugh. Um, where was that, by the way? It's one of Julian's mates. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. Um, but so anyway, um, yeah, but part three was just so shit. <laughs> just rumble, just you walking around dressed in like a fucking Canadian and you're just walking around just babbling shit. <laughs> it was boring. <laughs> but the one thing that saves it is that is I loved, absolutely loved. <laughs> As you bent down to, to the pig, the pig tried to bite Michael. <laughs> oh, and I had a fucking outburst of laughter from that. So yeah, the pig. Hey, got to laugh. The pig, if that pig wasn't in it, that'd be such a shit video. <laughs> the pig saved it. Um, uh, overall, the, uh, the three films combined is just... A sad film about love and bullying. Because <laughs> it's love at the end. Yeah. And then you, well, we won't say what happened because you might know, get <coughs> might get age restricted, but we all know what happens at the end. <coughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's just sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking sad story. Uh, I feel like there needs to be a bit of a follow up, like a funeral scene or well, something. A we did a prequel. I know you did a prequel, but just, I want to know, I can't want to know what you did after. Do you like, remember how high you were? Oh, I packed you the fattest bong that I possibly could. Oh yeah, the, the I bong. Move. I didn't realize how funny the bong scene was until. Oh, that's in the fourth bit. Anyway, yeah, yeah. so <laughs> I watched the fourth one later. But overall, oh, it's a pretty average series of videos. And, and I feel bad saying that because I know a lot of people no, love no, those yeah, characters. No, it's fine. Everyone's got their own taste. Yeah, but still, some really funny scenes. The shower scene was hilarious. The pig biting was funny. Uh, your bullying was really on point. I really enjoyed. Was that all just, um, what do they call it? Were you just doing on the spot? Yeah. Improv. Yeah. Improv. Was that all improv? Yeah. So that's very good. I very enjoy that. But unfortunately, overall, it's a, it's a four out of 10. Okay. That's fine. But 
All right, all right, all right, everybody. Shut up and get your horses downstairs. It's time for prank calls, idiots. And today we're going to call a news agency. Your time is there for us to waste. Picking up your phone was your first mistake. Ha ha, ha ha. It's prank call time. And this is where we prank call people and waste their time and make them angry for our own amusement and everyone else's. And today I will be Darren and I'm going to be calling a news agent and saying, um, I've won the lottery, um, but I've lost my ticket. Yes! <laughs> mm. I've been um, wanting this one. Yeah, right, here we go. I'm, gonna I'm really excited. Oh, I'm excited too. What's the, what's the, I got to find out like what the latest, like, uh, lottery. Set for life. I mean, What's the latest, lo- latest quick pick. lottery? You got a quick pick. How often do they do it? Every, every night. I think every night. What's every the night Tuesday? they do the lottery? Is that the gold or the lottery? Good afternoon. Yeah, hey, Garn. Uh, my name's Darren. I come in on the uh, weekend roll and um, bought a um, lottery ticket. And I've just checked um, the numbers, right? Look, and I'll shit you not. Look, how many numbers are there? There's like one, two, three, four, six, eight numbers. I've got five of them, five or six of them. Like, I'm not even fucking around. Could have even been seven, but I can't find my fucking uh, ticket. So, look, I'm just wondering, like, there must be something we can do about that. Doesn't that come up on your system or, or something like that, that, like, someone's won, like, heaps of money and shit? I can't find out. If you come same day, then we can do something, but if... Two days gone, we can't do anything. So, wait, you're telling me, like, I'm missing out on, like, probably, like, ten, probably, like, 50 grand or some shit. Like, you don't understand, like, that is, like, life-changing. Like, I've never even, in all my 15 working years, I've never even made 50 grand. I can't do anything. No, but do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm on my knees right now. Like, I'm looking up to the sun like it's fucking it's glaring right at me. And I'm like, I'm on my knees to you right now. Like, you can change my life, right? I'm begging you. There must be a way. There if, must if be a way. Ticket, Look, I'm asking you, you from the bottom of my heart and soul, okay? I'm saying maybe, maybe there must be something. There must be something you can do, darling. You and I can do it together. And I swear I to God, I swear to the here. Southern Cross above me right now. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh. She's so rude. Yeah, how you going, brother? Um, I'll come in on the weekend, right? Um, and I've bought myself a lot of ticket. Um, and um, I've just checked the results, right? I've just checked the numbers. I've hit six of them out of eight. Like, I'm not even fucking joking, mate. I'm shaking. I'm standing there. I'm like, I'm a bit stressed out. I'm like, fuck, what do I fucking do? Then, right, I've gone, looked through me bag and that. Rifled through me wallet and that. And I can't fucking find the ticket, mate. So I'm calling to see, like, what, what yous can do. Like, surely yous can see, like, on, like, CCTV or some shit. Or, like, you know, doesn't that come up on, like, your system and that? Like, when you've got a big winner, doesn't that come up on your system and that? Yeah, it does, but, yeah. That, was it registered? What's that mean? Was it, did you register that card? No. Like, if you got a lot of cards? No, no, mate. I just come in, bought, bought tick normal. Yeah. Basically, yeah, that's, yeah, see, taking it, I can't do anything, yeah. That's, Oh, mate, yeah. please don't tell me that because, look, this is, like, yeah. $50,000 or some shit, right? Look, that's, like, I've never, like, I've been working 15 years. I think in total maybe I've made, like, 30 grand, right? So, look, I'm literally doubling my my life's work with this, what I've done right now. Do you understand what I mean? Like, you and I, yeah, I, you and I, I we that. need to put our heads together, right? Because, like, think about some fuck people would do fuck shit for 50 grand. So we's got to be willing to do some fuck shit for 50 grand. I'll split it with you if you can help me, right? I'll give you some. I'll fucking yeah, give you some. Is, uh, I can't do much, you know, like because it wasn't really said. Yeah, no, so no, nah, nah, mate. To... Look, look, I'm, I'm, look, I'm on my knees right now to you, brother. You, like you, you and I are brothers, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I do get it, but no, yeah. So you get no, it. So you know we're brothers. Me. So you, you and I are brothers. Agreed. As I said, like, it yeah, like, like head, you and I have the same parents. Said. You and I have the same parents. You and I are brothers. Like, we are blood brothers for life, right? And I'm saying to you, mate, I know it's hard, okay? I know it might be scary. Like, we might have to, like, like go the steal steal yeah. receipt or something. I understand, okay? I get it, mate. I'm on my knees. Please, I'm begging. Like, oh, we need to find a way to get it. And I'll, 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 I'll flick you 25K, brother. That's hectic as shit. The best thing is maybe called the lottery. They might 
you come in Gary, huh? Yeah, mate. Um, they're gonna they're gonna be even worse. But that's like going to like a a, a dealer that you've they've given you like fifty grand, right? That you don't go back to the dealer. You go to the cunt who's got the fucking fifty grand on him, mate. Like if I go back to the dealer, like they could like shoot me or do all sorts of shit. Yeah, you Mate, what if I come in, right? If I write the numbers that I know I had on a piece of paper or something, and like I'll come in and hand it to you. And like, because you's on your system, he must see like he's got a winner there, right? Like, no, because it's been on the weekend and everything, so it's finished. Like, I can't do anything. Yeah, but mate, remember, like, head. remember, I you were saying before, you were saying before, you, you and me are brothers. Like, is this how you treat family? Yeah, it's how you treat family, he's going to stomp into the sidebar. This machine is in my hand. This machine is run by that lottery. Yeah, mate, but I'm saying to you, like, like, just let me come in with a piece of paper saying with the numbers on it, because I know I had it, mate. I fucking know I fucking had it. And I'll come in, I'll give it to I, you. I do believe brother. he probably had it, but as I said, if he don't give me that ticket, I can't do anything. Yeah, but like, what's the, the difference? Ticket. Like, if I if I bring in the ticket, or if I bring in a bit of paper with fucking numbers on the fucking thing, can't you fucking do the same? Do what do you mean? Can't you fucking sorry, do the man. same fucking? What's the fucking sorry, point of the fucking all tickets? Sorry. Mate, sorry, I'm, mate, you can't sorry. be serious. Like, we need to sit down right now as a family. No, you, sorry, me, sorry, you, sorry, me, my my brothers. A lot of them, mate, on, you, you can't do this to me. You got to be joking. I'm I coming in. I'm coming in, my brother. I'm coming in, right? And you're staying at my place tonight, and we're gonna work this out. All right. Sorry, I'll tell our parents because like we are sorry, brothers. No. You and I are related. I like okay. like Legally, sorry. we are brothers. Do you understand? I'm a bit busy if our mother dies, we both get a chunk of that will money, mate. I love you more no, than I I, you're you. my brother, no, mate. No. Please, I'm begging no, no, you. I'm no. lying underneath the Southern Cross. Listen, I'm, 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 I'm lying can't. on the underneath the Southern <laughs> Cross right now, and I'm looking up at the stars, and I'm coming. I'm going. My body's jerking around because you're my brother. Oh, oh, it's in your jizzy. I'm under the Southern Cross and I'm coming. <laughs> oh, that's so good, dude. That was a pleasure. That was a bloody pleasure. <laughs> Just keep telling him that your brother <laughs> legally. Oh, anyway, that's the end of the fucking podcast, everybody. Get out there and be yourself. And don't let anyone get in your face. If someone gets in your face, drop bombs. Drop bombs and get out of there, cunt. <laughs> We're the best. We're the best. best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. 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 Assault people. Best. Assault people. No, 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 no. That's age restriction. Sorry. Connor, cut that. Oh, beep that. Bleep it. <laughs>